Welcome to the GCN Tech Clinic. This is the show where we answer all of your tech related questions that you've been leaving underneath any of our videos with Ask GCN Tech as the hashtag. And we've got a load of questions to get through today. So let's get straight into it. Okay, right, first question is from Master Wu 22 They say, hello all. Obviously, it is a never good, never good idea to support a carbon frame by clamping it with any amount of force, especially on the top tube. Yes, you're right there. However, would it be safe to hang the bike from the top tube? This would mean simply holding it up from the bottom of the tube, not clamping it with anything. Yes, yeah, I think that's fine. No problem Lots that. of bike racks do that. Hook it up on the wall, jobs are good. And especially some of them have like two clamps, so the weight is kind of yeah. distributed, absolutely fine. Brilliant. Um, second part to their question, I'm wondering if it's okay to use my rear bike rack to support my carbon fiber frame as I don't want to risk it cracking. So it sounds like they're suggesting that can they hang the bike from a rack or a pannier mount on the back of the bike? I'm going to say no, that's Absolutely not a good idea. Absolutely do not do that. No. Yeah, don't do that. Not a good idea. <laughs> um, okay, next question. Uh, next one is in from Donald. Hi there, Ollie and Alex. I've been a big fan of your show for a long time. Love your work. Um, could you please assist? Of course we can. I am in the market for a new bike, but as a heavy rider plus 125 kilograms, I struggle to find a carbon bike that'll take my weight. Should I stick to aluminium bikes? or should I buy a Trek, for example, with a weight limit of 130 kilograms and just upgrade the wheels? I am assuming the weakest point will be the wheels, wheels and not the frame. Thanks in advance. Well, there's quite a few bits going on here. Essentially, first thing you need to do is make sure you actually stick to the weight guidelines on any component, not just the frame or the wheels. You don't need, I need to think how I want to phrase this. You don't need to try and rule out carbon fiber. There's lots no. of different bikes out there that are made from carbon fiber that have a weight rating suitable for you. You don't need to limit yourself to just going aluminium, but you could go down the route of say an aluminium bike, a steel bike, a titanium bike, or a carbon fiber bike. You just need to do a little bit of research to make sure that the products that and bike that you're looking at is suitable for yeah, you. Yeah, and it is what you want. And this is where things like your local bike shop really come in handy. They can advise you on lots of different stuff, take you through different brands that might have products more suitable for you. And that way, you also feel like you can get hands on and try it before yeah. you commit to spending all your money. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Don't right. underestimate your local bike shop. They are full of knowledge. Um, next question is from DSTA Mathieu. I think that's right. And they say, <laughs> greetings. I enjoy the practicality of CO2 cartridges and would like to know if it's advisable to use with TPU inner tubes. Yes, I've done that many times before and had no issue whatsoever. The only thing I would say to be mindful of is the CO2 cartridges can sometimes like freeze the valve or the valve core and some of them are made from plastic and you could run the risk of snapping it. Then you'd be in trouble. Then you would be in trouble. Yeah. But just take a little bit of care. I think yeah. you'd be fine. Give it a go, see what happens. Yeah. Next question. Do you want to take this one, Alex? Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> right, it's from H-J-I-G-U-C-H-I. They say, somewhat related to the question in today's video about rotated tyres, um, if one is only going to replace the rear tyre as it wears and leaving the front tyre alone, is there a point where the front would need replacing before the tread wears out? In short, is there an expiry date on tyres after a certain period amount of time? I've read things about rubber compound aging and cracking, but I've had some front tyres on for 10 plus years that all seem to be fine. Am I risking catastrophic failure? A 10 year old tyre, I would say it's probably worth just changing because it yeah. the rubber compound would have gone a bit dry. And you can, you can usually tell just by looking at yeah. it. If you can see the tread is cracking, I would replace yeah. it. Um, so the age old argument that people put out there is, should they just let the back tire wear out way quicker than the front and only replace the back, but then you end up in this situation? Or do you rotate the tires, switching the back to the front and the front to the back, so they both wear out at the same time? What do you do? I just use it however is on my bike and replace the tire when it's yeah, worn out. I don't think I would invest the time changing tires front to back. Chances are, I tend to have ruined a tire before it actually wearing out, yeah. um, like cuts, punctures, whatever. So yeah. I would leave Let them as they are, it. keep it simple, <laughs> replace them when each tire needs replacing. That I think is the most cost effective way yeah, as well. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, next question. Uh, next got? question. Hey guys, I have a road bike with Shimano 105 11 speed 1132 and my wife has a road bike with SRAM rival 11 speed 1128. Is it possible to share a smart trainer with the same cassette or do we need to switch the cassette slash free hub every time? What are you thinking? You're a thoughts I'm on this? I'm going to say you're going to have to swap it. 
I don't think it's very good. Well, you can, it is possible, but it's not very good for the bike. Well, you're taking the very sensible option, which I think is officially- Only because I've been told off for doing it before by our mechanic. Right, yeah, I, so I see, <laughs> I see the angle you're coming at here. So yeah, officially, officially you should try and stick to the cassettes which are des designed and intended with that manufacturer. Specifically on 11 speed, you can get away with this, it's actually okay. But 12 speed is where you really like categorically shouldn't be mixing and matching Shimano and SRAM over because the HG Plus, which Shimano have made, is different from like the flat top chains that SRAM have. So they're not designed to work together. In this instance, I think you're going to be fine and it'll make life easy. But like Malin says, if you want to be like extra good, switch it over. <laughs> we'll leave it down to you. <laughs> yeah. Next question says, hey guys, do I need to take any extra precautions when washing my bike with a wax chain? Is it fine to just wipe it down afterwards or should I re-wax the chain each time? I'm going to say... Go on. That you just wipe it down. Yeah. Exactly. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, you know a lot more about wax chains than me, but... But you know, you, that's the whole point of having a wax chain is you don't yeah. have to do it every time. Yeah, you don't need to degrease it. Wipe it down, as Manon said, and away you go. Um, okay, right. On to our last question, you read this one out. <laughs> last question from Mo Joe MTB 101 <laughs> Hi, Ollie, hi Alex, Ollie and Manon. I'm new to road cycling and I have been mountain biking for about 20 years. I am riding my dad's old Scott Speedster S1. My question would be, would there be a noticeable upgrade in shifting performance if I changed the Altegra 6700 6, to a 105 7000 group set? Thanks in advance. Um, <sighs> Look, my thoughts are clearly using a newer group set is going to be a nicer experience and it is going to change gear a little bit better, but it's not going to drastically change the performance of it. No. If my like common sense, sensible answer here would be um, if you're new to road cycling, just get to grips with it, really enjoy it. Changing all the components isn't really going to change I'd, I'd the experience you really have. the wheel set. Yeah, if, you, if, if you're you set on changing something, yeah. go wheels and tyres first and then replace other components as they wear out. Don't expect. I certainly wouldn't jump at going quick, get um, a modern group set just because you think it's going to change everything. Save your money, replace stuff as it wears out. There great you go. that you're getting into road cycling then. Oh yeah, also yeah. that's great. Um, right, that's it for this week's GCN Tech Clinic. Hope that's helped you out. If we haven't answered your questions, we can only apologise, but keep being persistent. Get them in the comments section down below. We'll get them next week. Right, that's it from us, isn't it? Yeah, see you in a bit. See ya.